In this Python tutorial, we will make a GUI application with a calendar button using PY Simple GUI. There are text, input, radio, and button objects in the window. After the values are entered, when you click on the Save button, the data is saved to a text file. You can add more than one data to the text file. We will do the application together again. I will show you how to do it step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add the text object to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to none. If the X button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I will create an input object. I add the input object to the list. I added the input object to the window. I will create text and input objects for the surname. I add text and input objects to the list. I added text and input objects for the surname to the window. I will add text and radio button objects for gender. I send male and female values to the radio functions. The second value sent to the function must be any identical value. In this way, two radio button objects cannot be selected at the same time. I added radio button objects to the window. Both cannot be selected at the same time. For birth date, I add the text and input object to the list. Two objects were added to the desktop window. I can change the dimensions of the input object. I'm sending you two parameters to your function. I reduced the size of the input object. Now I add the calendar button object to the list. I can choose a date by clicking the button. The date I selected is displayed in the input object. Finally, I add the button and text objects to the list. When I click the button, the entered values will be saved to a text file. I define a key so that I can access the entered values. I define separate keys for name and surname. I define keys for radio buttons.
I define keys for input and text objects. First I need to find the selected gender. I create an empty string variable. If male is true, I set the gender value to male. If female is true, I set the gender value to female. Anyway, both cannot be true. If the button is clicked, the event value is the name of the button. First, I create a text file with the open function. I can write data to the file with write. I can access the values entered by users using keys. I save name, surname, gender, and date information to the text file. I change the result text object using the update function. Finally, I close the file. Now let's test the application. After the values are entered, when you click on the save button, the data is saved to a text file. You can add more than one data to the text file. In the next video, we will make an example of the image button. To support us, you can subscribe to the channel and like the video.